all right. Marty! You didn't get cracked up any. You? No, I'm all right. Say, uh, we've got to get out of here. two masters. The fee you paid me shall be returned. I hired Poten because, being an Eurasian like myself, he hates both the Europeans and Asiatic races. His hatred for the Chinese is so great that he has become a madman on the subject, a madman bent on extermination, and he will succeed in his plan if his inventions are not destroyed. What inventions? He has a machine which is an advanced form of television. He can see and hear what is going on in any room where he has placed what he calls a dictavisa. Dictavisa? Never heard of the thing. Nor has anyone else, Captain, except Potan. It is a very small contrivance which may be easily hidden out of sight. There is one in the house of Dr. Wu, and one in the home of every prominent merchant in Chinatown. For all I know, there may be one in this very room. That's a fine fairy tale. You're sure you're not trying to save your own neck? You're right, Captain Walters. I am trying to save my life. I have employed a Frankenstein monster. 
who threatens to destroy me. And you, and you, and you, and a whole nation if he can accomplish it. I believe her, Captain Warder. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Why do you believe her now? She's lied before. Because there's terror in her eyes with terror comes true. Go on with your fairy tale. What kind of gadgets are these things you're talking about? What do they look like? I don't know what happened to me. I felt as if I were falling into a dream. Asleep. I'm all right now. You can't do anything. And you're willing to lead us to this laboratory? Gladly. You're not afraid? Of course. I am afraid. But I depend on you to protect me, Captain. Right. the main switch was located? Some place in the entrance hall. Will you wait here? I'm going with you. Oh, but you promised to let me handle the situation. Marty. Would you feel better if I took Captain Walters along? All right. You're elected, Captain. Right. You people stay here until I call you. satisfaction to me. Andrews, I don't want you to take any chances. You can rest assured I won't take any unnecessary risk. All right. If that's the way you want it, go ahead and keep your eyes wide open. Call me the slightest suspicion of a trap. All right. I will.
get to the bridge. As he reaches the door, let him have it. I'm ready for him. Careful. Not till he crosses the threshold. thermometer registers 250 degrees. An orderless gas will be released. Let's go. Feel out, he might grow suspicious. We must remain very quiet till he returns. 